Dev really just she sings music to be able to afford her her pasta. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. So we're actually Ultimately. not even we're not even musicians. We're actually food critics. Yeah, you just do music <laughs> just so you can so we can travel. And Facts. Eat. <laughs> do you know what's weird? And we're 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 already going here. And if you can't, you got. The hat's tough. I get it. Um, right. and you don't have to wear it if you. Oh wow, it works. Oh, there you go. Right, it works. If it ever doesn't work, just stay close to the microphone. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Because oh, okay. that's the anyway. only real reason about the headphones is because sometimes even when I don't have them, I'll be talking like this, and I'll be like, oh yeah, yeah, oh, okay, I should do this, and the headphones yeah. remind me of that. She can be in the next room, and you'll pick her up. Just Look, fine. Let me tell you, this the Mississippi volume here is real. You guys are probably be like, back up, back up. So. let me tell you the first. Oh, by the way, I just had some pasta myself at my house. I was rushing from one studio to the other, and I had some uh, leftovers from last night that my wife had made some, and it was cold. And I think I ate the wrong leftovers. I think they were left from a month ago that was pasta, <laughs> and I did. I ate the, not the ones from last night. <laughs> So you're talking about bad pasta. I think I might have a crying, but not crying myself to sleep. I can probably guarantee that it was still better than the pasta. I had. Yeah, it was terrible. I, I mean, know. some people like butter noodles. Not you know? me. I, I want mean, it. Chicken not when you order Alfredo, Alfredo but so okay. And we're not going to say the name of the place. We're if, not. And if you did say it, we'll bleep it. But you go. You just talk with me for a second. You go. You're looking forward to this pasta, I assume. Yes, were, because... Were, were you going for the pasta specifically, or did you see it and go, I got to eat that pasta? No, I was going for pasta because I'm like, I really don't really... I don't want pizza. I don't want... Dad's a pasta head, I'm too. a pasta yeah. head, so I was yeah. like, you know what? I'm going to get some chicken Alfredo. Why did you have an expectation about this place, though? Well, the reviews I have were great. high okay. expectations for everywhere I go when it comes to food. I don't think that's how it's mm -hmm. supposed to be. Though. No, I think you just have like that's, medium that's expectations. That's where you well, set no. yourself up for failure because I have zero expectations. So if it's not bad, I'm like, okay, won't do it again. Well, mm -hmm. yeah. true, but <laughs> Tree said that her food was good and was the reviews amazing. were good. So I'm like, okay. Oh, it was. So, but did you get sick or is it just not good? It was disgusting. Okay. Ultimately, you're harsh, man. No, there you go, right. Ultimately, I'm the Dev is the righteous critic. judge. Yes. Okay. Gordon Ramsay ain't got nothing on Dev. Right. <laughs> the first time I, I saw you guys, and I think it's what led to me playing you guys on our national weekend show, was I was I, one of my friends was boxing at a charity event. Oh, yes. yes. I remember that. It was a couple years ago. Rumble mm -hmm. on the road. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah. And so she was boxing, and I tried not to. I'm not a big, I don't like people that much, generally. <laughs> it's not even I don't like people, it's just, I don't like, this is pre-COVID too, I think. And yeah. I don't mm -hmm. like germs anyway, and mm -hmm. yeah. you know, people spitting on me, and mm -hmm. so I just was, I don't want to go out a whole lot. But, I, I said, I'm going to go. And I go, her name's Anya, she works at Sirius now. Yeah. She's yeah. One, of, one of my dear friends, I love her. And so she was fighting that night, and I go out and hanging out, and they say, hey, just sing the national anthem, chapel, and you guys come out, and you, you crushed it. Really? Because I don't know. I think like by the time we were like, we got set up and everything, it, it sounded kind of like, I feel like when we finished, we were like, all right, okay, gotta go. Sorry. It, well, it's, then on a three year delay, I will tell you that it was so good. And I was like, dang, I should find out more about them. That I went to Mike and I said, hey, will you, can you find some stuff that they've done like live? I want to make sure that, because sometimes, honestly, yes. and this isn't you guys. Oh, we understand. <laughs> when you. You go and you find stuff. <laughs> <laughs> if someone's been recorded in a studio mm -hmm. or... And Mike and I will go, well, they did sound good until we found them singing live other yep. places. And then it wasn't so good. You hear them live and you realize the blessing was in the studio. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I call yeah, that yeah. the blessing in the board. Mm. There you go. It was the board. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> and I was so... I was like, it's, it's, they're really good. And so we started playing you guys on the National uh, Weekend Show. Yeah. And that we just kind of been keeping up with you the whole time. We've tried a couple times to kind of line something up, but then you guys went off and you know went on uh, AGT. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah AGT. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was supposed to be there one of the weeks because I have a show on USA Network, and I was going to go oh. and promo it during when you guys sang the Dolly song. Jolene, yeah. I was supposed yes. to be there as part of like the panel that night. Yeah. And I wasn't because maybe I, somebody got sick, and so here in Nashville, and they were like, "You might have COVID, so don't come." But okay. I, I remember not being able to go and going, man, I'd have totally cheated for them. There you go, look. <laughs> yes. Even before uh, you guys went, I remember going, I would have totally cheated for them. Yes. And so I'm glad I didn't. There you go, look. Then you don't have it. You don't have anybody going, you only got on, you only crushed it because Bobby cheated for you. Right. But right. all that to say, 
I re- before we like get into like the stories, like I really, you guys are awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, just your energy. Your energy is awesome. You. Oh, yeah. And mm-hmm. this is our. We are still zombies right now. So if you like zombie yeah. chapel heart, hey, look like, at me. Wait until we wake up. Zombie Bobby. I was Whoa. in Vegas all weekend working, and then you, I, we do the morning show, and it's like wake up at three in the morning. Woo. Gosh. And then I live zombie, and you guys like, are running like y'all zombie. are the real heroes. Yeah, the, no, the yeah. unsung heroes. That's I would early. have. A, I would have to stay up for three. I'd still show. be up. So like <laughs> it'd be fine for me. Everybody else, like, I'm sung yeah. enough. I'm not unsung. Like, I get yeah. enough sung. If I'm, so enough. Yeah. I'm a sung yeah. hero. Early morning, <laughs> early morning radio interviews with Danica are always <laughs> interesting. Huh. Interesting. Why, Dan- why Danica? Oh no. Lord, Jesus Christ! We're about to find out together. Well, let's start <laughs> off. So Danica's my sister, and so like growing up, Danica was the worst person to wake up. Like, mm-hmm. she's not is. a morning person. Well, this morning she woke up kind of on like a level five. Out of how many levels? Ten. Okay. She was on like a level five, and then she was like, you know what? I'm going to get me a triple shot. Oh, why oh. did she oh, do that? Oh, that one radio interview. <gasps> so I was just feeling real low energy, <laughs> so I was like, let me just, and I don't really even drink energy drinks anyway, so I probably should try a maybe regular shot. So I went straight <laughs> triple shot. I was laughing so hard. And like, and at some point, I was just like going. I was like, "Y'all hear that? My heart's beating. You hear my heart beating?" I was going, and like, I was like, "Oh, that's." So finally, by the time I crashed, I was like, "Oh, that's energy drink." Where were that's you? Where were me. you guys? When was this? We were it's, in. It was, it was a. It was a radio station. Chapel, Chapel, Hill. Chapel Hill. Hill. And so we were super excited to go. And uh, yeah, no, nevertheless, we hadn't been back. So I feel like maybe <laughs> I'm pretty sure they thought that we she was hopped up on crack cocaine. It, because probably she was, they. I'm was, sure they thought, and I was just like, oh. <laughs> Yeah, you got to know your limitations. <laughs> it was interesting. You didn't have she, a chance to know your limitations because you just went hard the first time. There you go. She, was no straight you go. Yeah, she yeah. is on a two-shot maximum at this yeah. point. Well, it's so funny. Her son says Starbucks, and I'm like, I'll take an extra shot of espresso. Everybody's like, no. <laughs> In the background. Let's, let's go back to the beginning for you guys because obviously you guys are sisters. Mm-hmm. And you are... Their favorite cousin. Okay. First, first yeah. cousin. No, first of all, there's 108 first cousins. And I pl- please believe me, they wouldn't be on the road with any other other 107. <laughs> I got That's about five. If they could see. <laughs> so she has some contend- contend- First cousins by who? Like a mom and dad. I guess that was my question. Like how- My mom. Yep. My dad. Our brother's sister. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, okay. And so... Bobby, this, I, was now, like, I was about to say, now don't get cra- weird. It's a crazy story. So, okay. So her... So her dad... <laughs> no, don't. Okay, I'm you do. Say, say names it. here because we yeah, have okay. uh, people listening can't see you. So, De- go ahead. So, this is Devin. My dad and Danica's biological mom. Your dad, her mom. Got it. Our yes. siblings and Tree's and mom. mom. My dad adopted Danica when she was like two. And so, so imagine me as a fifth grader trying to explain that my dad and my mom are brothers and sisters. And they're like, oh. And so. Hold on. I, you have to explain. Hold on. <laughs> there hold on, you go. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> hold on, hold on. And then I'll compare my because I have I'm from Arkansas, so I have a similar ish oh, kind of story. <laughs> so okay, hold on. So so da- your your dad. Yes. Okay, I'm going up. And and your mom Birth mom. Birth uh-huh. mom. Okay. Our brother and sister. Yes. yes. Along with trees. And mom. my birth mom. Our There's okay. seventeen all of them. Three siblings. Yep, yes. three siblings. Okay, so you would have all been cousins. cousins technically, but got it. Except I'm really sensitive, and I don't like when Danica calls me her cousin. And she was little. Like, she pissed me off. I'd be like, well, you know we're cousins, right? And she would just bawl. And I was like, (laughs) I'm evil. (laughs) I am so evil. So her dad, her biological dad, adopted me when I was two. So um, but so technically, my birth mom and her birth dad are brothers and sisters. So they're sister cousins, but not in the weird Mississippi way. Okay, okay. Let me give you the weird Arkansas. Let's go. Arkansas, Arkansas, can you talk Mississippi? (laughs) I don't know about top, <laughs> but we can be in the same conversation. There we go. <laughs> my mom and my biological father, I don't call him my dad, and I, I never really knew him, but my mom and my biological father, let me, let me back up. It's even confusing <laughs> for me to tell. My mom and her sister uh-huh. yes. married my biological dad and his brother. Okay. okay. Yeah. So okay. Have, parents do You have that. brothers and sisters, but what happens is my cousins are double cousins. Yes. yes. And the tree don't branch. There you yes. go. It's, yes. like, it's, like, it's sh- like a stick. Yeah. <laughs> and so. It's, yeah, no, no, no. Same here. We had a, we had like our grandfather's father. He married he, sisters. Or they, he well, he married a sister, with... but 
he had he children with sister? all of her sisters. No, he yes. mar- with some of her sisters. No, he married the lady and then procreated with her sisters as, as well. well. Oh, oh. So, yeah. it's like it, Game of Thrones type stuff. Yes, yeah. yeah. but so, then, but then, uh, grandma's sister married one of grandpa's brothers. brothers. And so that's how we have double cousins like you as well. It's really we're, ghetto. Oh, we're, we're, we're probably cousins. <laughs> no, more than likely. Seriously. <laughs> okay, so let's go uh, Let's go way, way, way back. <laughs> when did you... Did the sisters start singing together before the cousin came in? How, who was first? We Well, this is Tree, yeah. and it started out as Danica and I. I'd like to... Well, Danica says we were the black sheep of the family. I'd like to say we were more like the rainbow fish in the school. Because we were a little different. Black sheep. <laughs> but, like, you know, we were, you know, be walking up and down, like, back roads, like, you know, blaring out System of a Down or singing some George Jones or whatever. Because, like, just whatever kind of went. And we started out in New Orleans and, like, singing on the street. Just, How old? Um, I don't know. 20. Two. Four. So, so you're adults. Yeah, we're, yeah, we, yeah. We, were, we were we were very much adults. And so you two just start singing together. Yeah. Are you making any money on the streets? Oh Actually, <laughs> I feel kind of dumb that we didn't do it sooner because I'd heard I heard people talking about busking. It's like oh, you know, it's kind of hard. You know, it's a struggle. And mm-hmm. we would sing for a couple hours, and the police would have to come and like move people out of the road from blocking the street. And so, it was like really, really <clears throat> good. But it's, like, it, it's and I feel like it was a it was amazing because we didn't know that we were good like we did so we just assume like this is what everybody did but like we were bringing home like boxes of money like from people and so then like once we started playing clubs like like three or two years later I was like damn we should just stayed on the street yeah, like, right? <laughs> like, right? so did you have like a shtick? Like instead, you obviously you're singing songs, but did you have like a little act when a bunch of people got around was or well no I think we just have that. I maybe just that bubbly personality or something because like we'd meet people and like it didn't matter if you were a businessman, a bum, a housewife, or a hooker. Okay. Like everybody, you could actually be all four of those and be the same person. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 and some of our fans are. Yeah. Right. <laughs> there you go. But um, but I don't know. I think it's maybe because like we grew up in such a large family and used to such a variety of different types of personalities, backgrounds, and people. Like it kind of just translated into adulthood. Do you have other jobs? Um, or did you not need them because you're making well, them singing? Yeah. Uh, Whenever when we started yeah. singing, we just sang, but I didn't run the gamut, honey. Oh, tree. <laughs> you, that, that'd be the whole everything. segment. She started naming all the jobs she had, but like while we were doing music, it was just, just it was music. just music. We get up every day and go down and find our spot on Royal Street and just kind of hound the like we had an old uh Yamaha piano that ran on batteries and we it was just kind of Bertha. Bertha. So you, did you have a truck you put it in or fit in the back of the car? Well, let me just tell uh, you what. Let we, me tell you. Oh, you lived close enough to to roll it? I, no, we did not we live didn't that close. close enough. <laughs> but we went, okay? So Oh my gosh. You did you have Pardon my ignorance here on this part, but did you have your own spot or did you have to get there early? And it's like Black Friday. Oh, it's a free have- for all, honey. Yeah. <laughs> but it's so crazy, though. Like, uh, like I guess, you know, I guess hearing all the things, we would have, like, people that would be like, are y'all coming out tomorrow? And if you're coming out, what time? Really? And we'll Where? hold the spot for you. Like, business owners in the area, because they knew, like, they were getting good music oh, if we good. were in there. So, so it wasn't just lining up early like you're well, getting a TV at Walmart. It was... People started to like you enough where they're like, we'll hold this for you if you yeah. want it. Because, yeah, yeah. trust me, some of those business owners on Royal Street, they will call the cops on you or like, really? shut up, y'all been playing too long. And if you're really good and people are all around, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're it's probably, good for business. Or, depending oh, what kind of business, maybe they don't want people blocking the door. True. Yeah. You know, d- d- yeah. If, if, you know, it's not a place where they need a lot of foot traffic, you know? Yeah. But did you guys ever think, and, and Dev, I'm going to get to you in a second, but did you do you two ever think you could do this outside of just singing on the street? Did you ever have dreams then? Did, was it a reality that you could even try? Um, <clears throat> I feel like coming from uh, Trey lived in New Orleans a couple years before I got there, before I was there, and so I came straight from Poplarville, uh, from Poplarville, Mississippi, to New Orleans, and so at the time I didn't even know that like singing was a career, like mm-hmm. you know. And so I was like, you know, if, and I lost my job working at the hospital and I have Poplarville, like if you can get a job at the hospital, that's the pinnacle. And so what were, like, what were you doing at the hospital? I was, a uh, oh, bless it. <laughs> 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 I was, uh, uh it, it was called the IOP. So in, intensive outpatient 
okay. therapy. So it's like therapy for older people, and they they come and they have group therapy. And so um, I was not very good at it, so I made a music department. So when people would come in, I'd sing songs coming you in. created and the when music they, department. I, they did, and they were Monica like, this is, an, is where she thrives. <laughs> she's also an interesting employee. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> she's that person that you can be, like, trying to fire her, and she'll just... I'm pretty not. I'll show up the next day. I think that happened in a couple places. (laughs) So So, you two are singing. You're making a good enough living to just sing. It's a lot of work because you got to be out there. mm -hmm. You don't get. There are no days off. But if you do take days off, you don't get paid, right? It's not exactly. They had a lot of those jobs too, where people like just take off. Okay, cool, but I got to pay the bills. There you go. So if you take off, you don't get paid. Uh, How long are you singing together in New Orleans on the street? Um, so I think we might have been singing on the street for about two years or so. Wow, really? Like a year and a half. Maybe like a year. I feel like it happened kind of fast. Maybe like it a happened year, back. year it, and a yeah, half. I think we were. Because I think we were only busking for like six months. Oh no, it like, was definitely longer than oh, was that. It? Yeah, it was. I think, also, so, I think I, a month is a long time. I do remember the transition though, okay. very distinctly. We were getting accosted by I'm not going to say who. There was a business owner. He was like just you know just the neighbor, <laughs> the neighborhood curmudgeon. And he was like, "Oh, you guys always come up here, and then there's too many people blocking my door." Yeah. And then it was almost like out of a dream. This guy <laughs> named Tony Seville, who he is like a New Orleans staple. He like floated up. He said, he had "This low rider bike. It was all black. He wear. He was wearing a all three black piece suit in the middle a low of the rider summer. bike. And like he just. I don't even know how the bike was sturdy because he just like floated up. And he was like, "You guys don't have to take this." Come play at my club. And we were uh, like, that was the break. That was the that break. Was get- it, look. Wow, okay. Well, it wasn't quite a break because the club was also in transition. He just bought the club that was formerly known as the Harem, and it was a strip club. And, and there so was, there was still a pole. We like we had to like <laughs> transition, like put the band se- section us in where like the pole divided us. And was so- it still a strip club? Well, the strippers yeah, didn't, didn't know. know that it was not. They didn't know that they had new management. So, mid-set, so. they would come <laughs> in and, like, look around kind of confused. And, like, there were a couple so, lap dances or, like, in the so back So we'd be, corner, like, doing like, music stuff, and then, like, the strippers come in, and, like, they kind of still, like, ran their own operation. <laughs> so it was like a COVID. Like, we were, like, business partners. <laughs> so. It's but like I, that We Work, where you have the space. Yeah, and yes. come in. They came in and did that. And they we got were the, the We Works the of the yeah. underground music. Uh, when you were playing a club, do you have instruments, though, now? Do you have a Guitar, piano. Um, you- we yes. did. Yeah. Um, Danica played guitar, and we like no, had. I did not play uh, no, she played piano. I was like, and we had. Never <laughs> and the the I'm stage like, was tinier than this table. I feel like, mm. and we also had an upright bass and drums. It was a lot yeah. on a tiny stage and with a pole anyway. in the middle. Anybody watching? Oh, tons. Yeah, yes. people come. So, and, and I, I felt like that was my biggest worry. I was like, okay, so we got the street thing figured out, but if we go inside, does it relate? And so our first gig, we were like a couple songs in. There was a few people, but like by the end, like it, the our, the little space just really filled up, and I was like, okay, okay. And so, um, so a, yeah, it worked. But that moment, we all we were in the middle of a show, and all of a sudden, I go ah, and like the music stops and it's dead quiet. And everybody's looking. I said the stripper pole is gone. Let's go. There was like there was That's no break. That's, That's when I knew we made yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, so De- am, are you the younger sister? Yes, uh, yeah. baby little sister, little bitty, tiniest little bitty baby. So um, is yeah. that why you weren't there originally? Because you were like two. I was still in high school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what is your she's sister saying to you while she's gone? I'm assuming you guys are still talking regularly. Really. Am I regular? Yeah, not really. She was mean to <laughs> out me of sight, until, out like, of mind. A year ago. <laughs> <laughs> but when, when you would talk, what does she say about her life now? What was she I mean, you? it was just music. Everything was music. And I'm like, well, whatever music y'all put out, I'm putting all my friends on. It's like me and my friends, yeah. we've been riding around listening to their music and stuff like that. So I was a fan. What was your name? What did you do? Oh, Lord. Oh, gosh. We were, we were Hyperfly was our cover band. Hyperfly? But it yes. was Hyperfly, one word with a PH and, and two, two Ys. I mean, yeah, the, me having to... Figure that out is like the early thing with your dad and yeah. mom. So I'm just gonna yeah. not there you figure go. that out. It, but it makes more sense the less you think <laughs> yeah, yeah, about yeah, yeah, it yeah. because yeah. it came from like we were playing in the kitchen one night, Google word generator, because we were like, oh crap, we're gonna be playing indoors. We might need a name. And so, like, clicked a couple times, hyper popped up, played a couple songs, clicked a couple times. Ate some pancakes. Yeah. Fly love- came up. And- and- so, so, hyper fly for how long? Oh, a while. Yeah. It was a long like, time. Was were you about- listening to hyper fly when you were listening yes. to the show? Oh, yes. Yeah. And you were. A fan I, or a family member that was supportive? No, I was a fan. Okay. 
and a family member that was supportive. Did you let them know that you, one, loved their music, and two, eventually you wanted to be a part of it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not the long laugh. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I didn't plan to be in the band. I never, music was never what I I envisioned for my life, in my mind, I was going to be an athletic trainer. Yeah. And then I thought I was going to be a dental assistant. And yeah. <laughs> Turns out genetics run deep. <laughs> did you, know, did you, you like sing me. in high school at all? Oh, no. Well, let me tell you about her music career. So one Sunday, so our dad's a pastor, and um, or was a pastor in uh, a little t a little city in, outside of Picayune, Mississippi. And so these poor children... Miss Marie, who was the choir director, said, Devin, are you going to sing the song? Devin was like, oh, yeah, yes, ma'am. And so she was like, are you sure? She said, yes, ma'am. So for four weeks, these kids ran over this song with Dev singing Lee. They got to Sunday morning, the piano player went, bling, Dev took off running. She started crying. She went to the bathroom <laughs> and Not doing wept. It. She wept. I said, shame on you. Those Wasn't poor kids happening. were out there to fend for themselves that Sunday. <laughs> Did they finish the song? Barely. Oh, okay. <laughs> so... That was Deb's musical experience. And so it was never in your mind, I want to be a music star, obviously. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I got to... Well, so how we get to are. this point, yeah. right? So I, too, lost my job. Bum, bum, bum. And so when I just called Danica, and I was just kind of venting. Weeping. No, tell her what she said, Dan. Tell her what she said. <laughs> Like it was just it was yeah she ugly cried and she was like, like we we'll call it pasta cry there it, it yeah, was yeah, pasta, pasta cry, cry. Yeah. yeah and um she was just like you know I don't know what I'm gonna do blah, blah, blah. and so but at that time we lo we 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 started we added in a third harmony and our a uh, friend of ours and she was from Australia and then she decided she was going back home and so we just lost a third singer and I said well, why don't you come sing with us it'll keep a little money in your pocket you know if you don't like it you can go and do something else. And um, Bobby. So we got her there. We rehearsed. First two shows, terrible. Could you sing in your mind? Could you sing? No. But you still said yes. Yes. Okay. She needed well, the money. Okay. <laughs> I knew that. Yes, I had just got a freaking new car and no job. I'm like, what am I going to do? But I did, like, Danica, our dad would always make Danica sing whenever he would go to churches. So she would, after a while, she was like, Look. you and KJ, which is our little brother, she was like, Y'all are going to sing harmonies where they all yeah, want to. You're going to stay at this house. You're going to work. So <laughs> so I didn't mind singing with her. So I knew I could at least do that. But I didn't know being on the stage was going to mm. give me the heebie-jeebies. Yeah. It did still, did. even then with them, even with yeah. them. Woo! So yeah, no, terrible. do you move to New Orleans or do you just go thinking you're just going to go for a bit? Mm -mm. I ended up moving to New Orleans and I was living with Danica. And how was that? Oh, it was interesting. Were, it, where she was were you for. now, like, every day you were singing, and you didn't expect that to be your life? Pretty much. Because you guys were. It was already your life. Yeah. <laughs> How did you feel about her? Did you feel like she had potential? Because she obviously didn't want to be on the stage. Um, <clears throat> Go ahead. I felt, like, I felt like... Uh, I knew... Because, like, she and my brother, like, Dev had been, like, maybe how old, like... Freaking 12, eight. 12, 8, something like that. So, like, our little brother's, like, 4... And, like, I have, like, I have them at, like, 3 in the morning. Like, my dad got this old piano from somebody. It's not even in tune. So, like, I have them, like, out there. Come on, you can do it. And Dad's like, I can't sing that high. I'm like, oh, yes, you can. And my little brother's <laughs> like, I can't sing that low. And I'm like, oh, yes, you can. <laughs> so we got, like, three-part harmonies going, like, 2 in the morning. The kids want to sleep. So, like, I knew she had it in her. And I knew, like, she could at least get the job done that we needed. You know, what kind of what we were expecting. And, um... You know, it didn't really work out because the first two gigs, she just lip synced. She just was oh, like yeah. so nervous. I was and a great lip synker though. I was like just staying yeah. right behind, a little bit behind us. And and then it was like, it was such a huge dynamic because like Tree would be like swinging from the rafters at the bar yeah, singing. And I'd be having like full praise and worship moments. So like the crowd, <laughs> everybody in the crowd's crying and poor Dev is just like sitting in the middle, hands to her side. <laughs> well, let me ask this question then. And oh, this is just kind of an end question I'm going to put now, but do you enjoy singing now? Oh, yes. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> I didn't want to get to the no. end of this, and she quits. No, She's no, like, no. you know what? I quit no. the group. I do enjoy it now, and I just, I always tell people, it's like, I feel like we can try to plan stuff out for our life, but when God has something completely different planned for your life, there's no stopping it. Do you guys still live in New Orleans? 
Yes. yes. Full, like full I'm, time? Well, that's where the mail goes. We live full time on the interstate. There you go. I absolutely understand that. You live between the yellow lines. You pay taxes Hawaii. in New Orleans for the most part. Yeah. You, who? Yeah. <laughs> no. More again. Yeah, right, Moving right, 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 right. right along. <laughs> so, are you, are you here a lot in Nashville? I guess I just, yes, I just yes. assumed you guys lived here because I saw you at the event. I've seen you around a little we, bit. I probably we're, should. we're like usually, we're typically, we're like here like. But twice, like here twice, a month. like maybe two weeks out of the month in New Orleans, or if we're at home, two weeks out of the month. So we're here very, probably more, more. than we're home. I've played the, tell me if this theater name's wrong. I've played the Voodoo Theater a few times. Is that a theater? I think so. Maybe not. Where? In New Orleans? The no, Baton theater? Rouge. I think that's Baton Rouge. As I said, that's mm. not New Orleans. I, yeah, that's got to yeah. be Baton Rouge. I've played New Orleans. Where have I played in New Tip- Orleans? Tipitina? Gaza, Gaza. You know how it is. You won't. I don't. I'll never there think of go. it right now. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I don't even know what town I'm in sometimes because I'll there do the radio go. show four or five days in a row and then be on the road. Do you guys ever do that? Where you're like, okay, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Uh, oh yeah. Dan like, like <laughs> literally the worst at it. Absolutely. I was like, what's up, Tennessee? And yep. the whole crowd, the whole crowd went like so totally silent. Oh, you've done that. Yeah, it was like Kentucky. What's up, <laughs> Kentucky? Really done that? Oh yeah. And they recovered. They recovered. Yeah. They just yelled right in behind me. So. That's yeah. when you say, I'm tired. <laughs> Have you never been tired? <laughs> Give me grace. <laughs> so you're see- when did you get comfortable? As in you can Yesterday. just be yourself. Yeah. Uh, when you can no. just be yourself and, and, and really just let it go. Um, it had to happen quickly. I think it was like a matter of months. She went from like how yeah. I led my first song. Pretty early. Early. Like, within months, like two, right, within months. that first <clears throat> year, first six months. Did do you was, did you feel then like okay, wait, well, I'm supposed to do this? Did that ever like click? No, in you? it that didn't. I didn't have that moment until I think you know what it was. Was it what was it? That video that Reese sent us. Oh, about the album, uh, about our album. Yeah. That was yeah. the first album. I feel like I feel like it didn't happen. And this is just me, but I feel like it didn't really happen until uh, until I made Dev perform Barracuda for like, Ooh, for Barracuda. Yeah, yeah. And she was like, she called. She was like, Dan, I cannot do this. I was like, You will, you will do Barracuda. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, you, and you did. Um, Why do you do your face like that? You didn't like it. I because she still makes me sing it every. Oh, you so, still have to perform Barracuda? Yeah, so. it's so funny though because the people who watched this on America's Got Talent and they were like. The, like some of the comments were like, why did he, why does she even need the other two? They don't sing whatever. But I was like, obviously you don't come to the show because it's, and there's so much of like me and hey, how y'all doing in the video? But every blue moon, like, so Trey will go and like throw a song. People are like, whoa, okay, she can sing. And then so like, and then like by the end of the set, we do Barracuda and people are like, what the hell? He didn't even know she, like, could she could talk. talk. <laughs> so, <laughs> and it just like, did like the, the switch comes on and she just like turns into this like hot, I don't know what, like, sexy. This, like, yes, Aww. this, like, musical vixen. This bear. Nice um, your dream. Like a hot, sexy bear. Take it in, because yeah. it, it, it won't happen again. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I was looking back. The first time that we played You Can Have Him, Jolene, on the national show was September 18th, 2021. Really? The first time that we played I Will Follow was April 2021. Oh, and I'm, I'm, I'm just looking back at... You know, from when we I was first introduced to you guys, and you know, and I was able to then to take your music and play it. But I, when did you guys start attempting Nashville? Because attempting country music is one thing. Attempting Dang, Nashville is another. It's, thing. Nashville's Ooh. yes, and and honestly, it sucks. We Y'all been, started about two or three years before I joined, so maybe like no, we, we no, I like maybe like just in. one year before she came. Yeah, so it like, I know it felt like a, a million years. Now we were we've been in and out of Nashville for about five or six years now. So like, and that's what people are like. Oh, they're new to town. We like we've been coming for a minute, mm-hmm. and you know we we, I guess like I guess, but it maybe more recently we started kind of trying to do like the Nashville like right with other people mm-hmm. thing. And you guys being here this morning, you see, it's a lot. It's a it's a lot to, <laughs> to take all three of us. In, so, Did you guys you write know. today? No. No, 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 no. Okay, you mean me with you three? It's yes. a lot to take. Like yeah. Just anybody. Oh, yeah, yeah, anybody. Yeah, anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're not ready, because most people meet and they're like, hello, how are you doing? And we're, we're like, like what? <laughs> people are like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> so it's a lot sometimes. So like we were, so we we're kind of like trying to navigate through like the Nashville riding with partners and, you know, like the whole thing. And, um, you know, I don't know. We just. Had you written with anybody else before you came to Nashville? 
And ha- um, what, what is your ride? Is it just do you three ride together? Or just one, two? What's that? Yeah. Uh, it's well, all the I'll things. I always thing. say our our method is there is no method. Yeah. Like sometimes we'll write together, sometimes we'll write individually, then come together. Sometimes we'll write individually and just it's like yeah. it's all but, the but things. nobody on the outside until yeah, and until we got to Nashville and like when they were like, you got to write with people, you got to write with people. We were like. Oh, okay, well then we'll write with people. people are like who'd y'all write that with? It's like yeah, it was a co-write. I wrote it with them, but yeah, I didn't like, know that that didn't. So count we didn't. As we didn't even know that like you you write with people. We just thought you write your songs and you get them. Out. How, how has that been? Have you found some people that you really like? Uh, you, you completely vibe with, and you're like, oh, you get us. Um, yes, we've done a couple songs with Jim Beavers, H- and who's he like is, one of my best. He oh is my a character. Mm-hmm. See, he can oh deal my. with the Mississippi madness. Yeah. He, he has madness himself in him. There yes, you go. He does. And it's, the, it's honestly the. What mad, do we call him? Um, Jamal. 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 His name is Jamal. Jamal. Because I was trying to text him one day, and I was like, I don't have his number, but like, I know I don't have Jim. And in my you phone, it says Jamal Devonte Beavers. <laughs> Yes. So and next so, time you see him, call him Jamon Devante. I will. I'll, I'll <laughs> s- say something to him after this. There you go. <laughs> so how was that? Pro- it's weird to have to take feedback and creative lead from other people. Yeah. I mean, it it's, is for me sometimes that you guys at first. It's like yeah. dating. Because like the first date and maybe we're not good daters because we come no. in at a 10. Well, it's tough to date three people at the same time in there the same room, go. too. So, yeah. There you go. <laughs> And so, like, you know, the first ride, it's kind of like, you know, okay, well, maybe you want it, maybe you want it. And then by the second time we get together, we, like, you know. No, yeah, we're, we're like, Jim, that. write that down. That's what we're saying. <laughs> That's so, money, dude. Yeah. Uh, Chapel Heart, the name. What's, where's that come from? So, like we said earlier, we come from a gigantic family. My grandma had 17 kids. There's 108 first cousins. And... We're from Poplarville, Mississippi, but inside of Poplarville, there's a smaller community called Derby. And inside of Derby, there's an even smaller community called Hearts Chapel. And that's pretty much where all of our family lives, our home church. He's and we it. just flip. flip that son of a gun, and mm-hmm. here we are. Did you guys ever sing in church, all three of you together? Was yeah. That, yes. Because I, I obviously you're older, and you talked about the church story. but you, mm-hmm. you They're much and, older than me. I'm yeah. going to have I'm gonna have to email you the picture, though. We had this children's choir, and it only had about 50 cousins. It wasn't a lot of yeah, us. Yeah, the other half. But I think more. Dev was the youngest member. Like, you were a baby, and I don't even think she, they might have just made a tiny room So that's what her. happened. Like, when you were, like, <laughs> one or two, and you could walk, you were singing in the choir. Yeah. And it was just, like, all the cousins. <laughs> and, um, but we were, like, they would, like, they would have us singing, like, three-part harmony, as, As an infant, yeah. oh, yes. I like you I crying in harmony. You had to cry yeah. and be yeah. flat, or I else you were out of there. I didn't know until college that, like, tone deaf and not knowing what harmony was was real. Yeah, yeah. Like, no. I thought, like, I calling somebody tone deaf me. was like calling somebody like a fathead, or like, you know. You had, like, met, you had to met me, obviously, at that point. <laughs> you would have known. For sure, would have known. I'll yeah, because know. so, everybody could sing. Everybody was brought up singing, yeah. right? I knew in the second grade, I was like, where's the harmony? Where the, where are the parts? Mm-hmm. And she was like, we're not doing that. Oh, yeah. I'm I, like, you know what? I'm going to just sing the parts, okay? I gave Miss because... Will pure hell. <laughs> right? I love Miss Will. Shout out oh, to you, Miss Will. There you go. Miss Will still alive? Yes, yeah. she shout, was my shout out to Miss Will, keyboarding teacher. She had moved on from te- to being the the chorus teacher because I think our cra- our class she made was still her cry so yeah. much. <laughs> when did uh, America's talent America's got talent come into the conversation? Because huh. somebody so, has to bring it up or somebody has to approach you. Like, yeah. like when does that very first thought of hey we should? And by the way, I'm not a hater because I did American Idol for four years. I think now. Everything's a vehicle to more eyeballs getting on you. Yeah. Right. Win the yeah. show or lose the show. Every time you get on a, a platform that has millions of people, that's win. Right. Yeah. That's absolutely win. So I asked that as in like, what was the first moment where somebody said, "Hey, maybe we should do this"? That was uh, <clears throat> that was not a thought for us. We were we're about as old school as it gets. We're like, get on the road, get in right. the van, take the instruments, play the shows, meet the folks, build the fan base, Thank and you. so um. A girl named Lindsay Rush reached out and she was like, "From where? Who's Lindsay uh, Rush? Lindsay What's, Network, a uh, show, talent uh, scout." Okay, so yeah, does she? One of our talent scouts would be like specifically YouTube, right? And she would go looking or TikTok, and mm-hmm. so was she? Did she find you guys online? Yes. yes. Okay, got it. So she's yes. looking for great acts online. <laughs> yeah. She reached out to you how? Uh, email, text, DM, the email first. Okay. Okay. You get an email. What's it say? Just remember the best you can. What's it say? Hi, I'm Lindsay Rush, and um, I, I've watched some of your videos. I'm a talent scout. I think that you should audition for America's Got Talent. You know, they're, the auditions are opening for this season. You know, we Did you would have to go like to L.A. to do it? Did you say that? Um, 
I think I think she didn't mention that in Details. the beginning. I think she just wanted to be like, reach out for more information. Got I'd it. love to talk to you. Did you think no way? Oh, yes. we told her no way. Yeah, we really? were like, thank you, but uh, we got you. We're on tour. Thank the, you. The good ones always do. If I'm being so honest about it, yeah. anybody that we would ever go, hey, you should come on American Idol, if they were like, yeah, I would love to, we'd be like, hmm. <laughs> It's Damn. The, too yeah. eager. <laughs> yeah, and it's, and it means they also got nothing else going on. Yeah. And so there was people like, hey, I can't. I have this after this. Then you're like, okay, they got, they must be pretty good live then because, or they have some drive because yeah. they're already hustling for their own thing. Yeah. And, um, and so like, but I, I have to give it to Lindsay. Lindsay was a pit bull with it because she would not, like, we were like, no, thank you. She was like, it's Lindsay again. But what I really want, I really want you guys to, but like she, there was a message where she was just like, listen. She said she had your number now, I guess. Uh, yes. Yeah. So she was like, I I need you guys to do this because I listen to your music and the world needs to hear this. Like I wake up and I put on You Can Have a Jolene and I'm inspired. I put on I Will Follow and I'm inspired. I, I listen to your album and I'm inspired. She was like, the world needs to hear this. Like there is people who need to see you guys. And 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 so um we were we were getting ready to um do a run with the Indigo Girls. And um, th that run got shut down because of COVID. And so we, we had the time. So we were like, all right, Lindsay. All right, Lindsay, rush. <laughs> so um, so anyway, so we ended up saying, okay, we'll go audition. Where do you go? Um, LA. LA. So, so they, we, we go to they, Pasadena. They, did they pay for it? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. right? Because otherwise we're, we're touring. <laughs> <laughs> so you fly out to Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. you, they put you in a nice ish hotel. I'm yeah, assuming, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Ish. It, right? it was yeah. it was a nice hotel oh, and close what, to them. What do they tell you you're gonna do? Do you just show up? Now Listen, we didn't. Expect, we weren't ready for it. We, what like, we <laughs> were going, we didn't know what to expect going into it. They were just like, "Come sit in this room, and we'll call you when we're ready." And sitting oh. in that room, we were thinking maybe. 10, 15 minutes turn into other about, people around you. Oh, my oh God. Yes. yes, tons of people, tons, tons. of other. Everybody singing, and you're like, dang, or ooh, they suck. Singing, dang, playing awesome. with birds. And I, you it's know, like, you know, America, I feel like American Idol would be like, you're in the room and people are like, huh, and they're like that vocalizing all is. day. Yeah. Oh. But America's got talent so different because you got people got yeah. animals and birds flying and there are tigers goats and walking shit. around. Goats, and it's like, dogs. what is going on? <laughs> people doing magic tricks. So, so now we're in this holding cell. Is where it was they called it holding. I was like, so we going back to jail. And so yes. it was like being in there with all the things. So we had no idea. It was like, what in the world? It was a circus. How long did you wait? Two forever. days. It's, oh, it's forever, right? Two days. Mm -hmm. So that's what I tell people. Like, by the time we hit the stage, we were like, look, this it. I look. <laughs> they, they about to get what they get because while we were tired, we wore the same thing for two days in a row. Three days. Three days in a row. And it was just like, it was all the things. But also, um, we would, like, people would come back and they'd either be like, nah, I didn't get it. Or like, I got four yeses, I got four yeses, I got four yeses. And so after hearing that all day, we were just thinking, okay, we just need four yes. It's like, we really like just the, needed three. Yeah. The buzzer, like the buzzer wasn't even a concept. So like, which was really weird because, you know, we also didn't watch AGT yeah. either. We, we had, had to go like I, crash course. No, I'd never, before I did Dancing with the Stars, I'd never seen an episode. So yeah, it was like, so you understand. And I think it, yeah, and I'd, I kind of acted like I did a little bit to the producers, but I didn't fully lie. I just let them. I'd be like, yeah, of course. Exactly. Of course. Of course. Yeah, yeah. But our cram session didn't even help because we were like, okay, we need to find out how the show works. And then we kind of like watched some of the other seasons and then realized that this yeah, season really they did everything completely compl different. Oh, really? So we were different still format. just as lost. On. That's right. Mm. <laughs> so you go in the very first time. Was your first audition on camera? Yes. yes. Like the first. In front of the judges. So yes. you didn't do a single audition in well, front of like some producers and a. Well, and a, actually, right. we were on the road and we submitted like grainy videos of us in the dark in the van. It was like, well, we well, can't. I come, guess technically that so. was our first audition. <laughs> the, the, the videos the video. we sent in. So the but first also, time. in a sense, too, we were like, we don't have, we don't have eight days to be auditioning yeah. in yeah. L.A. Like, get us, get us to where you need us to go. We'll do, you know, we'll do it. But so your first time was. On camera, in we front walk of the judge. out. Yes. And Howie, Sophia, Howie, and Simon. That's crazy. There. Yeah, like it's baptism by fire. Fire. Yes. <laughs> yes. So you walk out on stage, first time singing there in that environment with cameras on you. What did you guys do as your audi audition song? You was can it have Jolene? Jolene. Jolene. That was the first. That was the first time you guys sang when you got uh -huh. the yes. when you got the golden buzzer. Yes. 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 And, and funny. Like, 
And crazily enough, like we were kind of like going back and forth. We were we were deciding between nine to five by Dolly or you can have him Jolene, our original song, the nod to Dolly. Uh -huh. And last and we minute, were pretty, like, no, we were pretty set it was on literally five. like an hour and before. So, yeah, last we, minute. They were like, we'll get Chapel Heart up for rehearsal one more time. So like we were in the room and we did nine and five and it was great. And um, she was like, just, and, but it, there was still that, I feel like an overall, like that, that feeling that pitch. She was like, let me hear, mm -hmm. you can have him Jolene one time. And she was like, do it full out. Let's, so he did it. And there was like a moment she was, and like, everybody was like, nah, this is it. Like. Mm -hmm. And I was so, like, also, like, if we take a chance and we uh, and we don't get it and we fail, but we did our song, we did our song, and you know, and we if can you take fail that doing feedback. somebody else's, you're kind of like, what if we would have done our song? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. That's the strategy you went with. Yeah. Uh, not because it worked, but because same thing, right? If you're gonna fail, you want to fail doing it the way that Your you want to do it. Yep. That way, you're not always going. If I just would have done it my way. Right. Because I, especially early in my career, it happened to me all the time. I was like, if I just would have done yeah. it my way. How did you feel? Before they gave you your, you, you know, the golden buzzer, they all said they loved you. Did you feel like it was a good performance? Now, I just got to say, like, the nerves, like, I don't know, kind of like, kind of like walking out. I think we had an advantage because we did so many live shows and being able to have the live audience there, it definitely helped. But I think just like Danica said, it was the end of a three day run of like just foolishness if you ask me we were just so tired and like i was like well lord i hope they liked it well cause... did you feel like you nailed it though vocally like for your standards no. when you're doing it no. not no. at all <laughs> no and 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 you know but i mean it was like tv production mm -hmm. you know and like we did we didn't have like not even that we're good with in ears but we didn't have ears and so they just kind of had the monitors that you couldn't hear the judges kind of even talking to you we were like we were like what and so like <laughs> It was just kind of like all the things. And like you said, we hadn't even had a, a a singing moment before this. This was the first thing. That blows my mind. That Because I didn't watch the show live, but I watched clips of it, right? Yeah. And I, even I saw Dolly tweet. I mean, I saw all the stuff surrounding it. And I thought, oh, they must have done this a few times before they got to this point. I didn't realize that that was the that was it. That was sitting the in a room for three days, walking out and just going, here we are. We're yeah. tired, but we're going to hit it. Pretty so, yes. and it, But, it, but ex I think it was exactly like Tree said. So I was saying like the first lines... And, like, as soon as I kind of did that, like, I could hear people in the background, woo! Like, and I was like, okay, it's okay. a Chapel Heart show. Let's Brown. go. Mm -hmm. And I think that, like, that's just Probably cousins in her. of your 180 cousins. A couple of there them have to go. be down in the theater. It was a family reunion. Yeah, somebody. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, somebody odds are someone's going to be everywhere. Yeah, no. And, 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 but that was, that was it. And, like, I think once we, once we just kind of rolled off the energy that was in the room, there was so much energy there. It was yes. so loud. And Very I don't loud. think I realized how loud it was until we started watching the clips afterwards. And then, like, they sent us, like, the editor's cut. I was like, oh, my gosh. We they would, were loud. Yeah, no, like, we cried on the show. And, like, after, like, watching it, and you could, like, now see the people standing on their feet. And they were like, we cried again. Like, we were just, I said, <laughs> I probably hadn't cried in 10 years. You know what's this cool? last year. You did that. And I'm sure you felt the outpouring there. But then it's, your adrenaline goes down. You go back up. But then you feel like a second wave. Uh, you know, online and folks going, wow, wow, wow. Like a, in the second wave, yeah. it feels different because it's not instant and like a a, a, a love punch, but it's like an awesome big fat hug of oh, people yes. just for days. Did you guys like really feel that and feel the love from the country? Oh my yes. gosh. Definitely. Yes. I, I, first of all, I guess like, I don't know. I, I, didn't, I didn't know. I didn't even know there's that many people in the world. Like, you know, and then, but I also, <laughs> I'm also like super like realistic in that like, okay, once it hits YouTube, the the miserable people who like to be miserable about everything mm -hmm. are coming out. So we were like, I'm like trying to like brace for like the, 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 the hate and like the backlash that we might get. And we didn't get it. Like, oh. if somebody would have been like, I don't think it was Golden Buzzer worthy, but great song. Like, you know, so even like the bad, I guess what would be the bad things weren't, weren't bad. bad. Like, literally, like, going through like five or six hundred comments, like, waiting for that one negative Nancy. I'm like, oh, my God. Somebody Man, say like, something mean, please. And it, like, it, like, like it, is this real? It was kind of like Simon. Like, we were yeah. just like, he would say nice things. And we were like, but what? <laughs> no, just say it. Be mean. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. But like. The, the the way that the world received us, we were I don't think we were ready for. And, you know, yeah. I'm curious about, and I, I do want to get away from the show after a couple more questions here, but was it fun? Did it ever get fun doing that show? Oh, it was fun the whole time. It was. You and weren't I, exhausted the I whole think, time? You weren't? Well, we were exhausted. We, were, we were dead tired. Yeah. But I think it's because the delirium had kicked in 
we that's why yeah. we had fun. Was, but fun I think a lot of time. people there were in like competition mode, and mm-hmm. I realized at the show we're like aggressive friend makers. We are not good competitors. And it was like okay. eight o'clock in the that morning. Dude. We don't want to be there. We know y'all don't want to be there. So we got good morning. How y'all doing? Hey, production they were like, team. There to, there go Chapel Hill. Okay. <laughs> at what point do they start dressing you guys? For the second, for the second one. episode. That, see, that's where it gets really cool. Yeah, like <laughs> because Lord. you have to wear your own clothes, you get, right? Or that was it not fun? Wardrobe Ooh, team. And now I just want to apologize. Jessica and Tree sent them through the ringer. <laughs> no, we okay? dressed the wardrobe <laughs> Tree, department. You People especially. were like, "Y'all look so good." Well, thank you, but I'm sure well, the wardrobe department was like, "Get them out of here." <laughs> we literally got separated like we were in kindergarten. Like, day they one. wouldn't take Chapel Heart all at once. Like there'd be like full bands. All the people are in there getting dressed. They put the band together. They're, Chapel Heart one by one. Why? And, <laughs> because I think we like we've just been together so long. We kind of know what fits well, what looks well, what you know what I mean. And you overpowered anyone that was there to do their job. They felt ish. they felt like yeah, th- very I much didn't. so. Yeah. But like it'd be like stuff where it's like I don't need to try on fifteen pair of pants. I know which ones are gonna fit. Like you know, it's like hey, what are you trying to like, say over there? Well, like I yeah, think I, I wasn't. This. I didn't. I wasn't prepared for their method because yeah, it was no. very. Put it on. Let me see the vibe. Y'all, let me feel it. Let me. It. Ooh, I have to stop. But I'm right like, <laughs> this lady said, "Okay, so I mean, and she was she was really stretching it out. So and she was like, I have a. I think I have a vision for what I want. But by the time she even got to the word vision, Tree had tried on three outfits already. Whole outfits. She just gave up. <laughs> Tree dressed herself. And so, like, they were just like, what is going on here? But right they now? loved it. So it's like, you go. have one extreme, and then I was on the Dev's opposite. Like, she's like, what, so do you like appliques? And they was like, mm-hmm. I'm like, like, I, just, even, I was like, I literally just wear head. shorts and t-shirts most of the time. So, yep. and then whenever they ask what we wear, <laughs> that's literally what I sent. We I sent the pictures. We sent the pictures and literally didn't, like, it wasn't anything on there that looked like any of the pictures we sent. <laughs> and, like, typically, usually my side of the rack's like this big. They're like, man, we found what we could. And Dev and Tree have, like, these long racks. Dev had, like, four pieces of clothing. <laughs> and she was like, I was like, look, make it work. And then the pants, so, she was like, I was like, ah, uh, these were a little short. Because they were a little bit high waters and I didn't, I like pretty long yeah. pants. She was like, it's okay. No, and it's, it's, a, a, it's a style. And yeah, we're somewhere, all, but not here. <laughs> we're all tall. like knocking six foot. And I actually put that in a little wardrobe note. We're all very, very tall. You Make guys are sure all that these, tall? Like, well, like five, five, ten. I'm 5'11". Five, 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 yeah. And I'm 5'11". Wow. Yeah. Everybody in our family is tall. My dad's 6'4". It's like just mom's. the opposite of like Hollywood. You show up and it's like, oh my God, everybody's so short. <laughs> and then people are like, whoa, we didn't think y'all was going to be this tall. <laughs> Wait, so how, who's the tallest in your family? What's, well, who's the big uncle or the big dad? Oh my gosh. I think maybe... Dar- oh, because shot up too. No, oh, he, Darius, Darius is, still, is the, still the tallest. Is he six, seven, six, seven? Yeah, that's some big jokers. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, you're all sitting down, and I've only ever seen you in a boxing match, so I there guess you, I, you were far away. I didn't know you were that tall, <laughs> and you wear a cowboy hat. You're like six four. There you go, right? <laughs> Dang. So, uh, so t- this part of your story, you you finished fifth or sixth, fourth, fifth, sixth, fifth, fourth, one fifth, of them. Fifth. Yeah. How, was that the last episode or the next to last or yep. where, next where, to last? So, what was it? Oh, last episode. It was, so last. the last. No, the last episode was the day after the thing. And that's the day we came Was that the show? It. Like That was the reveal show, the oh, results. Yes. On any sort of, if I've ever done a competition show, you get paid the longer you stay on. Like every episode, you get paid mm-hmm. per episode. Did but you, did you guys get all your money, or is that not how it worked? With what money? Election? For fifth place, you get an experience. Well, what I'm saying is, yeah. <laughs> it's, <laughs> diff- it's different. Yeah, hush, because I think we might be getting some money. No, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Tell us, Bobby. <laughs> I've never had to sing on a show. I've mm-hmm. had to compete on different shows. But the longer you lasted, the more money they would have to pay you because of your working. Yeah. Did they? That, that's not how that works? Yes. That, that, it, it, is, st- it is maybe how it works, but we ain't got it yet. So. Got, got it. It, it got hasn't got come it. yet. Yeah. If I'm it come, call, I'm gonna, and, it, and it ain't I'm good, we come some pasta. I'm, I'm going to call them and say, Bobby's there. You go. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to buy the bad pasta so you can try it. <laughs> so you come off the show and, okay, it's that that's over. Mm-hmm. Are you going, okay, we're here, we've arrived, or are you going... We have a little spark. We got to turn this thing into a fire, and we got to hit yeah. the ground running. Which one? Exactly. I, was, I think I think the fire actually ignited before the show ended. Like because bef- between like there are only three rounds, and between those rounds, we were p- picking up more shows and doing shows in between. And then as soon oh, as it cool. was over, we had like you're able to work in the middle of this. Is it yeah. there was recorded set- some of them. So we, some. Yeah, we some we had stuff. a we had a we had a lot of obligations prior to the show, and so um, but also uh. 
America's Got Talent, I know for sure. Like that contract, it, it's not as. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, as no, and honestly, none them. are now as much. Yeah. Because they know nobody will do it, right? right. Yeah. Nobody will do the show. So you finish the show, and Mike, what is the date today? The 28th. The 28th? Okay. okay. So you finish the show. Uh, when does the Opry reach out and go come play the Opry? Oh my! That they was in the it was in the midst of it. I was after the first audition. Oh, it was that early. They were like, yes. yeah. yeah. So we literally we, got the results on the fifteenth, the fifteenth, and then the seventeenth we played the Opry. Because you played it less than two weeks ago. Am I right on this? Yes. That, yes. But then that was the Opry debut. Debut. Isn't that awesome? Oh, yes. oh my, my gosh! Incredible. There's a picture that I have to show you, and I was like, how most people watch the Opry, and it's Devin Tree, and they're like, and I'm in the bag like. <laughs> so like incredible. What, do, what do you remember from that from that night oh my gosh i think that it's like it's just like being there and like everything felt like a hug even if it was just a compliment but also like it felt like i remember it's kind of like watching it and watching our favorites and and heroes and 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 the legends play there and we were there it's like and the ultimate like you are worthy moment like ooh. it's like it's the it's the pinnacle of country music. What I mean, songs did you do? We did um, "Made for Me," "American Pride," and "You Can Have Them, Joel." Y'all, literally everybody from Mississippi was there. I said, I don't know if and that was my favorite part. Or the Opry is ready for all this Mississippi that's about to happen. And then they started meeting up. Like we had like groups of like people from like Louisiana and Mississippi, oh, God. and they were like uh, downtown and like, look who we found. I'm like, I'm why like, are they together? Why are y'all together? Get out of this. <laughs> First of all, the congregation. That's that, that's our, our fan fans club. Are the congregation is a little crazy, and, and I, little, I mean a whole lot. Like we hired security and security's like. These we don't we we don't know what to do with these this people. This big burly guy, much. he said she won't listen to me, and it was a little old lady about. 60. She was like seventy nine, <laughs> and she was like, "Move out my way, fool!" And so she's just like, "And we have goes bad security." I'm like, "There's nothing that you can do with our fans, but they're hilarious. I love them. They're amazing, though. They're a true reflection of Chapel Heart." The first time that I played the opera, I just I couldn't see the faces because I was like, "I can't believe this." It was just a lot, right? I just remember the lights. And the sound's a little different up there. There's it does sometimes you're like, can people hear me? But it's right. it's, it's got that feel. But I couldn't see any faces because I was just like, I can't believe this is happening. Yeah. Now, w but I'm not anything like you guys are. You guys are way more skilled and talented than I am. And I'm up there doing comedy. And but when you go up there, do you have that? Like I I can't even see the faces because I'm just focused and nervous. Or are you so focused? That you can see every little inch of the place. I saw the people in the top back, back. I, we didn't for know you. it when I like, went out. I was like, Dang. oh yeah, it is going way up there and way back there. <laughs> well, yeah. my contacts were tripping that day, so I didn't really see anything. <laughs> <laughs> like, and like we have a, a, a couple um, very enthusiastic fans down from Morgan City, and they made like fat heads of us. And I was oh, like, yeah, oh god, were, that's that totally like, like, first fat heads <laughs> in the Opry, maybe yes. ever. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, people were like, they were like walking down the aisles. And so I was like, this is not this how the Opry works. How'd it, how'd it go? You finish your third song. Yes. What happened? Oh, my God. First of all, we walk out there and there's standing ovation. Like, just That's what I was trying started. to get to. That's what I was trying and to get yeah. We were like, oh, my. And the goal is we're like, whatever we do, we cannot cry because... To us, we ru like we ruined our finale performance because we cried from the moment. We didn't know. They said afterwards, he was like, we always tell the contestants, don't watch the video before you perform. Mm -hmm. And we watched it. I was like, I saw like six-year-old Danica like with the big smile. And I was like, if she could be here now. And so like the music starts and I'm like crying. And people were like, oh, man, it wasn't a good vocal night. I'm like, yep, because... Yeah, I said the real talent on there was if you could cry and sing, and we ain't have it. So, um, yeah. so but we were like, our goal for the Opry was do, do not, not cry, cry during American Pride. Yeah, so we got to get through this song. And so, like, that was really, like, the focus of going out there. But, like, once we were out there and the oh, they like we had, like, three or four standing ovations of the night. So after every song, like, people were just giving, and we were like... <laughs> Yeah. And so we cried. Right? We cried between songs. Yeah, but not yeah. done. <laughs> so getting, we're getting there. But it was like it was. It, I don't know. There was a. There was a. I feel like after American Pride was a super special moment because you know the Opry has a. They've got a. What's it? What's it like a? An I feel like an average 
fan range of folks who come to the Opry. Like, there's all kinds of cons. But, yeah, you mostly know. it's old people. But the yeah. age range, but that's yeah. that was our that was like our primary demo for a while. It didn't change like, until yeah. about like last our season about a year fans. ago. Oh. Like, but they were just as wild and rowdy. But like it was like from 48 to 72. And when I say they partied. Yeah, Ooh. but like, but also, you know, and, and I feel like people have their perception of people and what country music is and who country music's audience is, and especially classic country. And so just to kind of look out and every person in the building was standing on their feet Yeah, what, was just... Your point is they were older and maybe people wouldn't think that an older person would actually feel what you guys were doing and singing. Yeah. And they did. Yeah, mm -hmm. like, 100%. Yeah, that's And awesome. it, it, was, it was also that validation, like, you know, for the songs that we're writing and the message that we're trying to get across, that, like, we're not really all... We're not that different. You know what I mean? Like, every family got some folks that's messed up in it. And no matter how rich you are, how poor you are, you know what I mean? Like... Mm -hmm. And so, and it's like, if we could just get everybody to see that and like the things that you think that separate us aren't really that, Deep. you know, you can have your opinion. You can be red or blue or, or, or Republic or Democrat or whatever, and you can still get along. Like you don't have to believe like folks, but you can still get along. But I think social media kind of is. Yeah, we've gotten that. We've gotten that. I didn't even, that as a people. For most of my life, I didn't even, I thought it was like offensive to ask somebody what like their party was yeah, like their political affiliation yeah, or whatever is. but i don't I yeah well, I, I didn't think you were supposed to say it either i thought that was like a <laughs> law or something <laughs> i think my mom I think, hey i think it should be now it probably like, should. Like, like, like shut up we don't right. like, the way no my mama can. told me having the light on in the car was against the law i just believe <laughs> what she said when people yeah. ask really me she couldn't which, see at night so <laughs> when people ask me which wing i support i say chicken wings there you go. That's that's all you need that to know. Wing. You're going back to the Opry October 8th, I'm seeing here. Yes. You, that one's going to be, the first time is very special. The second time is better. Is it really? It is because you're, everything is, is so pure. Yeah. Meaning you know what you're there to do. You're, get, you're not going to be so emotional. You're going to be enjoying it. It's just the first time is really special. But yeah. it's not going to be your best performance probably because you got emotions everywhere. And you yeah. got people, you got family. They're like, we're so proud of you. You know, before the show, after the show, pictures, opera debut, you got the sign out front, all that. This time, you show up, you do what you do. You do it. You nail a few songs. They give you a standing O. And you walk out and you're like, we can't. you're going to like the second one okay. a lot more because there are far fewer distractions. Yeah. You, it's you and the Opry. Come no, on. That. That. I'm, I'm ready yeah. for that yeah. one. You're really yeah. good. Because yeah. our family is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Some will still be there. I don't think you'll ever have an opera show where they're not, if it's as uh, no, robust as you say it they is. They won't be there, okay? Uh, October 8th, you guys are playing the Opry, and then you guys can go to chapelheart.com to see all the shows you guys are doing. I see shows all the way until in December. Yeah. So you guys are, you know, playing mm -hmm. shows. You're, you're yeah. still going. Do you ever plan to move to Nashville? I feel like at some point one of my homes will be in Nashville. Love it. I don't think you have to have to live here. Bougie. I love it though. I'm, I think I'm like we we're it truly we truly are three different personalities. But like you pull into Nashville and there's just like a there's a work vibe. Like you know what I mean. Like I feel like you get in Nashville and you got to be busy doing something. And so Business, I love yeah. it. Yeah, I love it. And like you know, but I think that. I think maybe like like Tree says, she'll probably it'll be one of her homes and devil email us from Mississippi. Yes. <laughs> I, when new artists come in, I'm like, you know, uh, uh, Gabby Barrett, I worked with her on American Idol and I I mean for a whole season and she was like, I'm just gonna live in Pittsburgh and I was like, No, no, you have to move to Nashville. Yeah. <laughs> You're seventeen, eighteen years old, you don't have any experience writing, you haven't done you have to move to Nashville. Like you guys have been killing it for so long, you understand touring, you understand songwriting. All the things that you have to learn here, I think you guys could teach the course on, quite mm. frankly. Oh, wow. And so I think there's a difference in have, having to move here, which some people need to, absolutely. Yeah. And having a house here also, like you yeah. said. Yeah. You know, so, well, listen, I'm rooting for you. I've been rooting for you guys for a long time, thank right? You. Like, oh, Bobby. thank you. I just wanted to see when we started playing your stuff, and I, it was 2021, and I remember telling Mike, I saw him at the boxing match. Let's see if they're good. Yeah. And then he said, yeah. He said, yeah, they're I good. He found enough that. clips to go, yeah, they're, they're good. So this is technically 10 days after our anniversary. Oh. You remember the date? September of the, 18th. Of what? 2021, when you first started playing. Oh, us. I thought you meant the boxing match. It's going to be Rain no. Man. That's crazy. Uh, you remember right. that stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, dang, so do you need a job? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. So you guys today, are you shooting a video or something today? Uh, we oh. are. We're um, playing at the City Winery tonight. Was that what it is? Next, Women Next Women of Country. Oh, that's that's a good one. That's uh -huh. fun. Yeah. That'll be fun. That's a good little sounding venue too. 
Oh, so yeah. That'll be cool. I've never been there, so. I'm yeah. excited. Yeah. I'm just excited because it's called a winery, mm. and I would like oh, the wine. I like the wine. <laughs> Yeah, a, yeah. <laughs> Don't drink a lot of it before you go what on. Kind of, but what kind of wine would you like, Coors Light? <laughs> yeah. I never had wine, so. There you go. Oh, so really? I, yeah, I, don't, I don't know. But listen, you guys just keep killing it. You're a great example. Thank you. To, you, you. You started doing it and you work hard and you will pivot. Meaning, never in a million years did you guys think you'd go on a uh, competition TV show. Yes. But you also, and I'll say this about myself, so you're not too good for it. Because you understand right. that's a platform. Everything's yeah. a platform yeah. right now. So get up and show what you can do to 3 million or 80 people. or And then yeah. just let the chips fall. I'm, I'm super proud of you guys. Thank yeah. you. And everybody, uh, you know, chapelheart.com. And you guys have the new song with Darius, which is great. <gasps> yeah. It's coming out on September 30th. I've heard it. I've yeah. heard it. Oh, yeah, so heard you it. know. I've heard it. I've heard it. Maybe I shouldn't have said which is great. Now I haven't heard it. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. The rest of you be jealous nah. and wait till the 30th. Darius is my guy. He was the first ever radio, radio interview I ever did at 17 years old. Oh, wow. Really? Mm -hmm. That's and, awesome. And so Darius and I have been close for a long, long time. Come on. So that's, like, that's that. like my dude. And so that's, you know what? Let's. Uh, I don't know what the song sounds like, but I bet there it's good. Go. There, you yeah. go. there we 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 go. Um, okay. That's it. Thank we you. did an hour. Bum, 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 bum. It was an hour. <laughs> Time yeah. flies when you're having fun. I didn't have to do anything. I just said, hey, and I sat back. <laughs> <laughs> an hour later, I leaned back up and go, all right, that's the and end of the show. Here. <laughs> uh, again, you guys go follow at Chapel Heart Band. You guys singing on TikTok? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Keep, keep doing TikTok, it. Yeah. Keep doing it. You know, that's more people, Lord, more eyeballs, trying. more platform. Don't ever let go. anybody tell you that, oh, you shouldn't be on this. We're if on farmersonly.com. Yes, if there are people there, <laughs> be there. We are trying to Terry Clark this year. I want to do it all. Yeah, yeah. Go, I agree. Go Maybe for it. Yeah. Shit, you can. You're good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're good. <laughs> At Chapel Heart Band, uh, chapelheart.com, and I will see you guys real soon, all right? All right. All right. See you soon. Bye, Bye.